Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In the past, one of the India's enduring challenges in military and civil aviation has been inability of Indian industry and research agencies to design and produce an indigenous jet engine. Indian civil aviation industry fully imports its aircraft and on the military side our indigenous program to build fighter jets depends upon foreign engines the first indigenous fighter jet marut that was developed by hl was plagued by aero engine issues few decades later the kaveri engine story followed a similar tale of failure to harness this difficult but critical technology however in the last 5 years Indian public and private companies have embarked on a number of small or medium aero engine development programs which has placed the nation on the threshold of achieving success. The challenge now lies how to give this an impetus by harnessing these diverse capabilities in various thrust ranges and channelizing them towards the end goal of achieving self-reliance. It's also worthy to note that the nature of warfare is changing and there is a move towards smaller and more numerous weapon system which have matching or better efficacy. This trend is visible in almost all types of weapon system with the most visible being the near dramatic change in aerial warfare with advent of artificial intelligence enabled unmanned aerial vehicles or drones. The decision to introduce the game-changing CATS trilogy with Indian Armed Forces is indeed a game-changer. Here work has started on its three separate components CATS Warrior, Teaming Drone, CATS Hunter, Air Launch, Cruise Missile and Alpha S Glider Drone all of which are unmanned system but controlled by pilot from mothership via secure data links and equipped with electro-optical and infrared sensors. Now recently, a private firm called Paninian Aerospace, a deep tech startup, has recently achieved a breakthrough in design of state-of-art aero engines for cruise missiles and large UAVs recognized by DPIIT startup program. The company has a small team of 35 engineers including experienced researchers, engineers, data scientists, designers and management professionals from top foreign institutes including IITs and premier firms such as DRDO and Rolls-Royce. The firm is focused on developing family of engines ranging from thrust class of 3 kN to 12 kN using modular architecture drawing from Common Core to cater unique mission requirement of defense including cruise missiles, unmanned combat aerial vehicles, unmanned teaming systems like CATS Warrior, Loyal Wingman, etc. A cruise missile generally has a requirement of 3.7 to 4.5 kN class engine and unmanned aerial vehicles have a requirement of 4.5 kN to 8.5 kN to 12.5 kN class engines. The startup is developing engines in all these classes to cater the defense forces requirement. It is working on five engines which includes Yantur TJ4, TF4, TJF4, TF8 and TF12 using state-of-art 3D printing technology. The TJ4 is a turbojet engine and TF4 is a turbofan engine with thrust of 4.51 kN. TF8 and TF12 are turbofan engines with thrust of 8.5 kN and 12.51 kN respectively. As per latest reports from Hindustan Times, the firm has successfully demonstrated the design and validation of a 4.5 kN turbojet engine which is further being developed into a family of engines in the range of 3 to 12 kN thrust along with AI augmented digital twin companions. The firm has also developed an artificial intelligence driven digital twin for legacy engines, performance modeling and prognostics for supporting mission performance and life extension efforts for Indian Air Force aircrafts like Jaguar, Sukhoi and Mirage 2000. This can now serve as a tool to study the extension of engines and greatly assist Indian Air Force and Center of Military Airworthiness and Certification in their study of performance degradation. Such digital twin which are required for cutting-edge prognostics 
engine health and performance monitoring have been conceived entirely from scratch in India by Indian engineers. This will enable India to carry out life extension of engines locally and accurately without need of foreign assistance. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.